White Men Can't Jump is a basketball game very loosely based upon a 1992 film which I watched for the sake of just a shitty little bit of context and I'm almost tempted to start talking about it but I, this, let's not make this turn into a review of the film. The game's developers are the same as NBA Jam's developers, not like it matters but you know I just found that kind of funny. Like, look at them neon clear letters and that colourless city background, bordered, god damn this aesthetic. But yeah, there's basically no ties to the film besides the name, the whole basketball hustle concept and a few other little oddities. The music's not bad, it's rough riffs and crispy bass lines with light drum taps, but the empty grungy feel fits the visuals. Muddy and grainy and the way the camera swerves and zooms all around out of control is very reminiscent of 90s sports tapes. This gradient void floor of just one deep colour and the background almost being a mirror of it, the way it's just blocked by these pin-up buildings, trees, it's such a distinctively weird look, it's like you're playing in some cylinder room and the world is just painted on the rounded walls. Similar to NBA, it's two players to a team and don't these guys just look like the, the happiest band of merry jolly blokes you ever done seen, motherfucking Tower and Eggman, Gruff and Scrape, Rabies and Twitch, Skin Smack, Jules Freaky, Dr. Egg and Slag, god damn, y'all did, did not need to go so hard on the nicknames. Right, there, there, there's women in this game? Excuse me, excuse me, you, you, you promised me only white men couldn't jump. The park's probably the best looking area, the floor like tinted green glass to endless black, trees and mountains in the background to clear out from the blue. There is absolutely no depth, but yet somehow it looks very, very far away. Like the beach is akin to an empty concrete garden with late evening blue, yet well lit floors like an indoor city from the future. We ballin' in Midgar or some shit. I guess it's meant to be the opening shot from the film, but wow, yeah, yeah, let's not, let's not have any of the film's characters. No, no, let's have this shitty beach that you see for 10 seconds in the opening shot. Yeah, that's that's what the game was needing. And yeah, the characters look <laughs> lovely. The way they lifelessly plod half jogging while stiffly hunched over when motionless too, like the actors were told to run on the spot while staring down the cameraman like deep in planning someone's murder. The neighborhood level is like some Truman Show type shit, this prison box dimension for basketball fans. And then the city court looking almost too messy and dirty and dull to match the rest of the sullen blue backdrops, this dishwater grey with clean city far in the background, it's such a dreary mesh, these hellish ghost town jpeg worlds. But yeah, it's similar to NBA and how shooting and passing works, but no, there's more violence. Punch to take the ball by force after they drop it. The ball bouncing all over this little half court almost becomes the main challenge. And it's interesting for a basketball game to be more about causing chaos and picking out the ball with precise placement than your more proper sport rules. But all the moving around really wore in my fingers, you've got to be right up in the opponent's faces as well to hit or steal the ball. It's awkward and really hard to pin down and that's almost sort of what's most interesting here. The gameplay is still sort of arcadey a feeling I guess, but it's slow and more about positioning than reaction. Even with a stamina bar letting you run for a few seconds, it's only really just to get a clearer shot of the hoop. Yeah, lots of sticky shuffling and stomping around, yet I do definitely think there's an element of fun to be squeezed here. The main tournament mode follows the film's vague goal of me need money from basketball, oh boy, time to make deals with shady men in shady men attire. You get a choice of three games of differing difficulty, entry costs and prize money. These two broker dudes and their NPC ass two frame animations, their faces honestly might be my favourite thing in this game. There's some real asshole who'll con you playing basketball looks to them. Absolutely great casting. And holy shit, Lane Staley? So yeah, win games, earn money, don't lose money or you'll die. I found winning pretty hard against any of the opponents, so you might as well choose the ones that are potentially harder but just pay you better anyway. And god, all the random text during play is so freaking good. They get in the way and just remind you of every single little action you've taken, obstructively and really for no reason, as the characters also constantly remark on everything. 
combine that with the sludgy music and the endless text boxes and their psychotic never the same font or colour makes this game hard to play without stupidly repeating everything out loud just to stay focused. Oh and yeah, if you get punched too long you'll be dumbed like an upside-down tortoise for way longer than you should. With its gameplay, polluted world, constant stupid speeches, and all the goddamn multicoloured, multi-fonted in-game messages, this game becomes that special kind of annoying where just focusing is half the battle. This game's some real shitty game, very at home on Jaguar, but the roughness is very fun to mess around with honestly, and I quite like the half-court style, where the one net becomes the cradle for all this madness, the punching, the ball flying around, and trying to pick it up amidst all the talking and text prompts then running away and trying desperately to just shoot a single damn good shot. There's an ugly kind of relaxing here, even if it's not exactly fun. Not a zone out and enjoy game, but more like smashing down drywall with a sledgehammer. A strange, unintelligible catharsis. The weird grunge void and gameplay like having to wrestle down a living blob of concrete. The music fitting that scruffy cool. There's definitely stuff to like here, but it's very messy and a bit of a slog to find. But hey, I like watching the stupid players run around, as cruddy and stupid is plenty enough for me. And yet, the film is way better I would say.